the week-long meeting between the two judiciary. Not initially. The week is about building uh, a connection between uh, Sabo and New Zealand. Some, some people, although a lot of the lawyers from uh, Insabo have trained in New Zealand, so there's already a connection between our law and New Zealand. Uh, the Chief Judge Kamali and I spoke last year about the need for us to collaborate and talk to each other about what issues we're facing in our courts respectively. Uh, that we can assist each other on with respect to information, our uh, ways of doing things, our approaches to things like culture and uh, so on. So that's why we come together this week. It's to build fellowship to begin with because um, although we have that connection through the lawyers, we don't yet have any connection through judges. And, and this is the first uh, connection of this kind between the judiciary of one country and the judiciary of another country ever, I think, in the Pacific. Uh, so we're really grateful to have this opportunity to share with each other what our experiences are and how we deal with our respective legal issues here and how that might assist them in terms of uh, what they do in Samoa and on the other side. Uh, Judge Kamaru a very good speech tomorrow on Te Aumarama. They were looking forward to hearing how Te Aumarama, Māori culture, Māori tūtara is used with the courts on, um, in New Zealand and how we might develop the use of some more culture in our courts here in So there's a lot to be gained in this country. I see in the program that there will be a traditional apology uh, performed on Wednesday. Can you tell us why is there a need to uh, do this kind of uh, the traditional apology? Yes, it's about um, ensuring that we have leaders of the district court bench. Uh, these are very influential people in terms of, of their judges and the way in which they approach uh, legal issues in, in New Zealand. We have, for instance, as I say, Judge Tomani. Our chief judge is in charge of about 170 judges. So he has a wide uh, influence on, on judicial education. And so one of the things that we wanted to do was to give him an attentive view uh, of how an informer is done, because it's a really important thing for us. And so that he and his judges and the people have an appreciation of what it means for us. So it's not just a word, but there's something behind it. So that's why we put that together. And, and also for them to see how village councils operate. Uh, because again, that's a very big part of our political system here in San Juan. They can see how our village council operates, uh, and then we'll have the informer. Uh, so that, that's why I say this is about exchanging ideas, learning from each other, and we're looking forward to that. Sorry, this is uh, Manu. Um, is the New Zealand judiciary uh, considering uh, taking in to account the traditional apology in dealing with courts? I might go back a step and talk a little bit about how this exchange started because uh, the Chief Justice and I both agree last year, in fact, when we were speaking about this idea that the judges from both Samoa and New Zealand could learn a lot from each other. And that's essentially what this exchange is about. We intend to share ideas and thoughts about the administration of justice in both New Zealand and Samoa. And from our perspective, from the New Zealand perspective, I see great value in being here and understanding more about the Samoan culture because in New Zealand our court obviously deals with all people who are affected by the business of our court. And that includes a large population of Samoan people who live in New Zealand. And so in, in order to make sure that what we put in place is accurate, it's really necessary to have these exchanges to understand clearly where the cultural principles and values sit 
what I found so far is that there are many differences on the surface, but fundamentally many of these principles are very similar when we look at the foundation. And in fact, even today we were discussing the idea of the older brother, the younger brother relationship in Samoa and the Māori people of New Zealand. And so there is much to learn, much to be gained from this type of exchange. I think Chief Justice has never been done before and uh, so we are, we are very honoured and privileged to be here. Any hope that this will continue? Well, let's get through the first one. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, uh, the, the idea, obviously, is it's a continuing conversation. It's, uh, what we want to achieve is better outcomes for our judicial system here in Samoa to deliver better justice for our people. And, and so the more information we can take on board, the experience of our older or younger brother from New Zealand, all of that stuff helps so that we can improve our service to our community. That's my aim to, uh, to achieve this sort of Aside from the traditional what are some of the other issues that we're interested in? Alright, well, the program tomorrow we will be looking at contemporary issues facing both jurisdictions. We'll have our judges talk about those issues and in fact so that we can talk about how we deal with so what is the place of custom in the world. Those sorts of uh, critical issues. Uh, judge come up delivering a paper on Tower Hunt, which is something that's coming through the New Zealand court and we've seen how that can translate to start. Uh, I was delivering a paper on the rule of law and constitutional challenges. So there are a number of questions. Those are the two sets of the rule of law that the day is open to whatever other issues might crop up. Thank you.